Well, hello everybody. Uh, thanks for the compliments. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a, a short story of how we came with a crazy idea to an international startup in less than a year time. We started in April last year. Maybe some of you know it, I've been to a festival. This is how a festival looks like. And all these small dots you see in below, those are all tents. This is just an average festival in England. And you know what it looks like afterwards? <laughs> One out of four people leaves their tent behind. This means 25,000 tents in the Netherlands, and means around 10 million tents worldwide. And these all get burned afterwards, or homeless can take them away, or refugees. They come up with certain things, so it's a problem. It's a real big problem. And we wanted to solve this. So during my graduation, I came across this picture. I was making a cardboard beach house for the government. And I thought, hey, I'm doing something with cardboard, and maybe this could be the solution. So we came up with the car tent, a 100% cardboard tent that comes pre-pitched at your festival. You buy it with your tickets, it's already there. Afterwards, we take it away and we can recycle it. That was the idea. So we started with this. We just made a render and we said, yeah, we are going to make cardboard tents. We, saw, we sent it to a few festivals and see what they got. And they said, you're really crazy. You're really, really crazy. It's never going to work. But there were a few who really believed us. So we said, OK, let's, do, let's give it a shot. So we, we called 10 cardboard manufacturers in the Netherlands and we said, yeah, Heineke called. They want 50,000 tents. Could, can you make this? And they were all like, yeah, sure, of course we can make this. So we said, ah, could you send one model? So they all did. They all sent one model, and we tried to fit them in the car. And you know what we did afterwards with these 10 models? We tested it in the garden. I went in the tent, I stayed there for three, four hours, and my buddy Wout, uh, he was he's standing next there. And uh, one tent um, from a manufacturer, he said, yeah, this is going to work after four hours' time. That was maybe the stupidest things we did, but was quite funny. So with these tents, we said, yeah, let's do it. So we put our saving monies together. We ordered 250 tents, because that was the minimum we should order. Uh, and this is how it came in from a truckload. Enormous. So it was amazing. But it was the first step of, yeah, of something crazy, because we had to put this money together and really do something. So we went to this first festival. We put down the tents. We had a lot of duct tape and sail with us, because you never know. Um, but it actually went quite well, and actually people came out of the tent the next day and said, yeah, I really slept quite well because it was dark and it stayed cool, and I didn't have any wires I could trip over. So we learned something with that. And then we were like, yeah, we're making cardboard tents, but we can actually print on them as well. We can put a sponsor on. So for the next festival, we got the municipality crazy enough to, um, to sponsor 10 tents. Looked like this, though. We didn't have a printer yet. We, had, uh, we made a wood uh, shape and we, let, and we cut out the logo of the, of the municipality and with a spray can we, made a sp we put the municipality logo on it. The mayor came by, he said, yeah, you're doing great. Ten minutes later, these young people came and they said, yeah, I love this tent. <laughs> municipality logo gone. But here we said, yeah, so the sponsoring works, but also people like to decorate their tent. And we went on. So, and then the next festival, because during these festivals, we want to improve the tent, we want to improve the sales model, so we actually asked the public. So we took a tent, wrote on, write your opinion. And we got loads of opinions, and uh, very funny ones, very strange ones, crazy ones, but also some ones that we really started to think about. But at this festival, something happened what we didn't expect. The media came. There was a media slide from uh, AD, yeah, these guys are making watertight cardboard tents, it's, they're crazy, and we got emails from over the world, and we were just starting, so we were like, oh my god, are we, what are we going to do? We also got some setbacks, so this was a festival, 150 millimeters of rain in two days. Um, we, there was one cardboard tent that broke down because people took it up, put it on top of the dunes, but the whole festival terrain looked like this a lot of these broken tents. And you know what the whole festival was about? The one cardboard tent, of course. That was a setback. But during this process, we, people started to really believe in this crazy idea. Even the big companies like Upilair. Uh, so what we did with this, what is actually what we really wanted to, because people buy these normal tents for 30, 35 euros. And because the price is so low, 
they leave them behind. And with this sponsoring, we could make the price of a two-person tent for the whole weekend around 15 euros, pre-pitched. So even people in the south of Netherlands uh, bought it. <laughs> and after, the fe after this festival season, we even got uh, on the new.nl the, the summary of the whole festival season. Like, Typhoon was a real great hero, and there were cardboard tents. You know? But we really, we, uh, Wout, and, uh, Wout and I uh, looked at each other and we thought, yeah, we have to improve, we have to keep innovating because we can't patent this idea. Somebody could try and cheat us. So we wanted to keep being the best. So we started innovating. <laughs> on the right is the old version tent, the, the one that we did last year. On the left, we did a new one. And uh, the, the outer layer of the cardboard is exactly the same. Uh, as a new one, but it looks quite way bigger. So they were like, oh, these people, they really thought about what they're doing. So for season 2016, we're launching this tent, um, and we really try to keep the price low, and festival organizations really love it. So we're going to do around 85 festivals in the Netherlands and Belgium this year, uh, and around 50 worldwide. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the story. Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end with a question because I always like to ask a question so you can answer it at the bar later on. Um, after these festivals, we now recycle these tents or reuse them, but we're looking for something that we can make from the tent after use. Can we shred it for uh, for boxings, for instance, or uh, could we make a certain furniture out of it later? Because if we can do that and we can sell that for the same price as the production price, I'm making free tents. And then I really can solve the problem. So I'm going to leave that for you. Thank you.